We're looking at the SPSS Now data entry tutorial game. Let's check it out. So here's a game and you can click start to begin it or I recommend click on the open the game in full screen mode. So again, our SPSS Now variables and data entry scenario A. Our learning objectives, increased familiarity and confidence with SPSS. Ability to add variables, nominal, ordinal, and scale, and understanding of the purpose for the data view and variable view. I would also like to point out the SPSS is a registered trademark, and the screen images are copyrighted by SPSS. The tutorial is not sponsored by SPSS. All right, let's go. So here's what the completed project looks like. We've got three variables, favorite color, dog lover, total pets, and we have eight respondents. Uh, the first variable, favorite color, is categorical responses that aren't necessarily rankable. It's not like green is inherently better than pink or, or so on. So there are categories that are, you know, equivalent in terms of like one's not more important than the other. Then we have dog lover, and here again we have categories, but they're categories that they that can be ranked. There's like the one star category, a two star category, three star category, and four star category. And finally, we have total pets and these are numbers that you like add, subtract, multiply, and divide with and calculate average. Uh, someone might have zero pets or, or more pets. And zero means that they have no pets at home. So let's go. So looking at our uh, SPS project, the first thing you want to do is go to variable view. This is where we'll define our variables. And our first variable is favorite color. And once you type in the variable name and press enter, SPSS will fill out some of these other columns for you. It's important to note that your variable name cannot have any spaces in it, nor any special characters. Continue on with our second variable, dog lover, and finally our last variable, total pets. Once you've typed in the three variables, you can scroll over a little bit to the right, and in the label column is where you can be more descriptive about what those variables convey, and I highly recommend using the label column um, this column is also referred to in SPSS creates reports and such. So in here you can include things like spaces and, and so on. So for favorite color with its different categories, we'll go ahead and specify those categories. So in the volumes, sorry, the values column, we'll click on it for favorite color and then click the dot, dot, dot. And the value, we'll use one, which is it's arbitrary what value you happen to use. And we'll say that one is green and that two is purple and three is pink. Uh, and four is blue. And again, we could have used different numbers. These numbers are just serving the role of names for the colors. So we could have put in any order we wanted. Why those four colors? That would be based upon what our survey respondents provided to us, right? So we need to make sure we have at least a category representing each of the different responses we were given. And then why numbers? It's easier to type in numbers when you're recording people's responses as opposed to having to type in the whole uh, color. So that's why SPS allows that option to use numbers instead of typing in whole words. Okay, dog lover scale. Again, we'll go to values. We'll click on the dot, dot, dot here for value one, and that means one star, two is two stars. Now this is not so arbitrary, right? We want a one meaning one star and a four meaning four stars. These are categories that we can rank from low to high. And for total household pets, um, this is going to be actual numbers and numbers are numbers are not like names. So uh, no need to indicate values. So values is just like if you have categories and the numbers are names for them. You know, imagine you're watching a football game and there goes number 33, you know, catches the ball. Number 33 is just an arbitrary name given to that player, making it easy to communicate, right? So for total household pets in the missing column, we're going to go ahead and indicate that the number negative nine means that the person did not respond with how many household pets they have. Why do this? Well, because if a person doesn't respond, a zero might be left, right? Because they didn't respond, so we're not changing it from zero. But a zero could be an actual response, and that could cause confusion. Is this zero because they really have no household pets, or is this a zero because they didn't respond? So we're going to make it really clear. We'll use a negative nine to indicate that the person didn't answer this question on a survey, you know, whenever that occurs. Okay, let's scroll over a little bit more to the right. Here's where we indicate the measure of that particular variable. So the measure nominal means that, hey, these numbers, uh, remember they have the numbers one, two, three, four, indicating the different colors. These numbers are just names. That's what nominal means. 
don't try to add, subtract, or multiply, or divide them. They're just just names. Uh, for the dog lover variable, that is a type um, ordinal. So now we're saying the, these are names, but they are ranked. That they're one is less than two, two is less than three. Um, there is a ranking order to them. And finally, for total household pets, that's going to be scale. And scale is a number as you're used to. Like you can actually add, subtract, multiply, divide, and calculate averages. Okay, so with that, uh, then we'll go back to this column decimals. So decimals is how many decimals do you want to appear to the right of the decimal point? So you can see that for uh, favorite color for values, it says 1.00 is green. So see how there's two zeros there? That's what that two means. And no one wants to have to type in that it's 1.00, right? So we're going to change decimals to zero. And now just the number one is sufficient. So again, decimals is how many digits to the right of the decimal point would we display? So we're saying that to zero for favorite color, for dog lover scale, and for total household pets. Again, no one should be owning 1.5 pets, right? So we'll set that to zero. So it's just really clear. These, these are whole numbers. Okay, then we go and we record our data. So for our first respondent, let's say our response was are one, three, and zero. Again, one and three were recorded because it's just faster to type in the number than, than the word. But if you want to see what does that word mean, we go to view and we click on value labels. And now we see the corresponding value. So green, three stars, and pets is zero. When you're in this uh, option to actually see what the, the numbers mean, you can keep recording the numbers and it'll automatically turn into the labels. Uh, putting in the rest of our data, here we go for our eight respondents. And now our data entry is completed. We can go back into game mode. So game mode is, all right, less of the, the hand-holding in terms of pointing out where to go, less of the scaffolding, and let's see what you do on your own. So I'll go ahead and see how well I can do on this. So I'm going through it, scroll to the right, provide the label, that was helpful, here we go. Let's specify our values for the uh, favorite color. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. And now we're gonna save those. Then for dog lover scale, I'm gonna go to the dot, dot, dot. Put in our first one, one equals one star. And of course, you're typing this in, it's not done for you automatically in the real SDSS. Uh, and then edit for missing pets. Okay, so this, by the way, if you click the wrong spot, see how hints it says I have four available hints for you? And it now it says hints remaining is three. So I lost a hint. Uh, if you get down to uh, zero or, or, or so, then you go from game mode back to tutorial mode. So, but here it helped me out. Okay, I click here, I click the dot, dot, dot. I'm going to say discrete missing values and it's negative nine. Could I pick negative eight? Yeah, it's, you just pick a value here when you're doing it. That makes the, the most sense for you. Something that wouldn't naturally happen. Scroll to the right. And now for my measures. So again, nominal for favorite color, ordinal for how much you put my dogs. Because uh, that's, you know, one star, three, four stars. And then finally for number of household pets. Now at scale, that means a real number. Scroll back. Set my decimals to zero, because basically I'm working with whole numbers. I don't need the 1.00, right? Go to data view, I'm gonna record it. Ah, the first thing's entered. Now I switch to value labels. Go to value, I uh, go to the view drop down menu, click value labels, enter the rest of my respondents, and I'm done. So now I can click next. And if you're doing this for class credit, uh, there is a passcode, a four digit passcode that you'll provide here, and then you'll click OK. I'll give you the three-digit completion code to put into your Canvas quiz, and you are done. All right.